restoring them up. First time viewers, thanks for tuning in. If there's something you're looking for, be sure to drop it in the comments and we'll get on it for you. Find something. This here is going to be episodes of things I fixed, repaired, or restored. This was more or less a paint job. You see I already ripped the fenders off it after he got it home with the flatbed. You see the wheel well lips were all rotted out. The lady that owned this had an extra set of fenders. They weren't the greatest fenders, but they had nice wheel well lips around them. So we just cut up the old fenders and used the lips out of the fenders to redo these quarters. You can tell the edges of the quarters are all rotted out where the inner quarter meets the outer quarter. Cars are good at getting debris stuck up in there. So yeah, all the way around the edges is rotted out on them. Had a couple holes in the rockers you can see right there. Hole in the corner of the doors. So everything just got cut out, metal got put in it, like the holes you see in the deck lid. We didn't replace the deck lid, just cut out the rust, tacked in some metal, welded in the front fender wheel lips around the back quarter lips, and used a better set of fenders that she had had to put on the front. You can see it was a lot of blocking out. This car had a lot of whiskey dents in it, but it really wasn't that bad. It wasn't so bad that you had to cut the quarters off and replace the quarters. You can see there's a lot of mud in that picture right there, but that most of that mud comes back off the first time you sand it. And when, by the time you block it and prime it and icing it and block it again, this car probably got blocked six times. Did it have a hole in the trunk? And I don't think he uh, bought a trunk pan either. I think he just cut a piece out of a truck bed, and I just laid a truck bed piece in there and made it fit and welded it in, dirt glassed around it. You can see all the little whiskey dents and blocking this thing. It just had little dings and dents everywhere. The green that went on this car is what really got me on the green kick, man. This GTO green is an awesome color. I'm so glad she went back original. You can see when I brought it in a flatbed, it was silver. And I believe this car is sentimental, too. It was passed me, hand-me-down type of deal in her family. It was her uncle's or something. It had passed away. True goat. True real cool car. Until I cut the jams in on it. But uh, I didn't get the paint job. The night we painted it, I haven't been able to find the, the pictures. Buddy of mine, Mike, this is the first time he helped me do a car. So this was a really special build for me, man. He uh, He's helped me do a lot of stuff. You see him in a lot of the pictures, like the Scout. We did a dually Dodge. We did his Dodge van. We've done a lot. A Corvette, a Camaro, 68 Camaro we've done together. We've done some cool stuff together. I'm hoping to hear in the future, you'll see Mike and me on some on some film. Maybe being able to restore some up and actually show you the process like without just slide pictures. I thought I was getting pretty good at making these restoring them ups and sure enough the software I was using for to make those first four videos, they wanted me to buy that. So even though I kind of had figured out how to do it, I'm figuring out how to do it all over again now. So go figure. But I'm working on it. This program I got now, it seems to have a lot more options to do a lot more things with the photos. I do apologize. It's not the greatest video, but uh, I'm working on it. Some of the pictures that she's taken of the car show she's went to. And yeah, that'd be after it's all done. Got to dig the gird plate on the front. They did paint the back bumper black. really care for painting bumpers but it's still a really badass car that's a really good picture of the green right there so this car turned out sweet it's one i take in pride in saying that i done it it turned out nice they get to enjoy it they get to cruise it and what more could you ask for out of an old classic car especially a 68 goat so thanks for watching subscribe appreciate it